good day. Our topic for today is all about MPC. MPC for man, B and W. And then, the specific topic for today is forcing. To up, forcing the software of this one to update from MOP panel. Okay? No need to use a strap because this is already defective. But for learning today's video, we need to use a defective so that no need strap or anything. Let's do this familiarization about dip switch. Dip switch B and dip switch A. Dip switch B labeled S1. This is position turn off but it if you want to turn on you need to push this one Tip on turn on and then tip back turn off and this all switches of dips dip switch s1 ha, have to be set to position off one position of down then at the dip switch A this is the setting the normal setting of brown off and then gray off this one brown off and then gray off off position and then 2 until 7 is on there is a indicator on the is on and this is the indicating led red is for error green steady green is run, running running your mpc normally the battery this is the port where ID key installed so the fuses normal fuses fuse fuse and then connectors there is the fuse guide then let's start when you install this one when you when you install this one example this is a spare MPC of board has been used previously to another location it is necessary to force the MPC to update software update software from MOP this is done by the following to set the yellow dip switch to turn off this one One turn off. One. Okay. This is only the setting. Turn off. Then after that, turn off. And then this one. Battery installed. ID key installed. And then. And then you run your MPC. After that, this LED is the most important indicator if that led flashing two reds and following three green you need you need to turn this yellow dip switch going to turn on it's because that that MPC is already updated with each software the normal MPC runs at a stabilized normally about 15 minutes again recap switch S1 turn off all is turn off position must be turn off and then starting turn I think the yellow dip switch must be 
turn off ok turn off to forcing forcing the forcing down to load the new application software for this one to avoid looping looping and required this switch to be reset upon completion example to avoid conflict for the for conflict for the software forcing turn on after ah sorry turn off this one is turn off because lower position is on turn off the yellow dip switch and then connect all com uh, connectors and then start up turn on the system then turn on the system after the LED is two flashes and then following three greens it means the software is complete okay and then after after that turn this yellow dip switch to turn on okay turn on that is the normal turn on off brown and gray is off season and then after you do that this indicator indicator led is green color green okay that's all need to do that is forcing to avoid conflict of software okay example if this is a new spare I have also a new video a uh, previous video that I installed new spare no need to of course they download for this new spare because I'm the one who opened the package and broke the seal I know that is new okay thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos don't forget to follow us on Facebook Marco TV adios